Good day everyone. This is my absolute beginner guide to normal mode Zuck. The aim of this guide is to essentially take things slowly so you can survive throughout the waves and Zuck because there is it's one thing to complete the waves, it's another thing to do Zuck. So I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you my positioning, the abilities that I use. I'll pretty much just be walking you through what I do that really helped me or even to this day still helps me when I'm doing hard mode Zuck. Um, the, just the tips and tricks, the things that I've learned along the way. Uh, by all means, this isn't a efficient guide. This is just something that hopefully will give you the insight to be able to finally get your Zuck cape because that cape is a massive upgrade. I'm pretty excited to do this. Uh, I'll, I'll be going over the uh, my gear, the perks that I've got on the gear, my inventory. It's, it's going to be completely basic stuff. So I'm going to make this as basic as I possibly can. For the inventory and gear we'll be bringing is tier 90 necro tank armor with just the basic perks on there. Crackling 3, Relentless 3, Biting 3, Mobile. Uh, for the pants, we'll be invigorating four, shield bashing two, shield bash is not a big deal, it's just a random roll when I was going for invigorating, enhanced, devoted four, a scripture of when for AoE damage, tier 90 lantern with eruptive, tier 90 arm guard with precise, the tuckle zoe ring is really good here because it increases damage by an extra 10% to the minions, just not Zuck himself, but will help in the pizza faces, uh, phases, I will not be bringing a ring switch or anything like that we're just going to use the tuckle so ring amulet of souls 99 necro cape for our inventory we'll be bringing a elder overload weapon poison plus 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 adren renewal nexus pouch with our runes vulnerability bombs super restore flask a shield for our switch to barricade with the turtling four perk Enhanced Excalibur, Hellhound with scrolls. We can use the Prism of Restoration as well. I'll probably be using them both. And then just Sailfish to fill up the rest of our inventory. As we progress through the waves for Zuck, I'll essentially pretty much just be showing you guys what I do, the abilities I use, things to, to look out for. Uh, we will be rotating through defensives. And the other thing is I will probably take a couple abilities off of my Revo bar here just because there are going to be times where we're going to have to save adrenaline for the final checkpoint and we obviously don't want to be running out of volleys, uh, souls for our volley because the volley <laughs> is a huge thing here and it really really helps clear. We will also be using darkness bonfire boost and we probably go to anachronia and get the uh the thermal buff just for that extra hp i just forgot to mention in the inventory and gear setup part of the video about some of these buffs that we'll be also bringing we'll be using the lantern dome sticks which make your potions last a little bit longer the qualm sticks which increases the weapon poison damage uh, by 2.5 percent with this this is the main one here that you you really want to bring just because it does do more weapon poison damage uh the spirit weed instincts that's just for the familiar and recovering the familiar's points it's no real big deal no real big deal with the hellhound but if you're using a reaver or something like that uh they will work really well here and then just some penance powder to keep our prayer points nice and high as we'll be using the vampirism aura to keep our health nice and high. For the relics that we'll be using, we'll be using Berserker's Fury, Font of Life, Fury of the Small. If you do have Conservation of Energy unlocked, I highly recommend using that because that will save an extra 10% adrenaline from any ultimates that you use, uh, which is quite nice. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the basic relics here. So now that we're at the Zuck area, I just want to show you all where I'll be positioning myself pretty much throughout the whole Zuck fight. The areas that we're going to be mainly focusing on is the north side and the south side. So we're going to be standing around this rock here and these rocks over here. So I'll just walk there. I'll show you. You can stand in this spot, this spot, 
over here it just really depends it's just about trying to keep the other monsters that spawn around spawn around this area here to not attack us just so we can take less damage as we possibly can and then for the area over here we can stand here and this will be able to attack the monsters that spawn here and these ones won't do any damage to us but you can also stand here and be able to damage these monsters while some of them get blocked by these rocks over here you do have to be careful of these volcanic holes because they do spit out this lava type stuff that does do passive magic damage to you but it's no it's, it's not really a big deal um so yeah so that's what we'll be doing pretty much the the places we'll be standing pretty much throughout the whole zap fight so i'll see you soon okay so now we are at zuck and we are ready to get our get our zuck game it's super exciting so what we're going to do we're going to make sure we got all our buffs on we got our darkness up our penance powder our thermal buff our bonfire weapon poison plus 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 our vampirism aura elder overload our scripture of when is active spirit sticks Palm sticks and lantern sticks they're all active we've got our hellhound uh, we're going to start the fight and essentially what i'm going to do here is just explain things as i go along so there might be parts in the fight that where i go quiet i will be using split soul as well as invoke death here they work really well um I've just noticed I've got the wrong bar, so I'm going to switch over. So we've pretty much got the bar that's going to be doing pretty much all the basics of necromancy. We want to get rid of the little bat here because he will drain our prayer points really quickly. And that is the first one done. And the things that I've taken off so Revo can't control is volley finger of death soul strike and bloat so we're gonna soul split Fight worm the ranges we're gonna protect range with the tier 90 necro and karma you really don't take much damage it's quite relaxed so just gonna move over attack this guy we just said these so we're starting on this rock and throughout the fight we'll rotate between this rock and the other rock to the south there Get rid of the bat prayer points are quite low so we're just going to renew that with a restore because there's nothing that can attack us here we're just gonna soul split go back to the rock to the these guys can hit quite hard but like i said earlier the the necro tank armor is huge especially paired with the darkness incantation just to make things a little bit quicker i wish it oh the skulls went out so that's okay we'll let the skulls do its thing what we can do here is we can use threads of fate into a volley and that will clear those guys definitely makes the uh makes the the waves a lot quicker and can clear mobs pretty quick back to soul split right. now we're going to get our first minion phase here so we want to stun these big guys here you'll know when you stun him correctly because that bar below his health bar will pop up then same thing you can protect melee here and this is why I wanted Soul Strike off of the bar. 
just so for when this happens i can be prepared i've got enough souls to do my stuns we're gonna walk around so these guys here aren't gonna attack us just to really reduce the, any damage that uh, could potentially kill us let revo do its thing now what we're gonna do we're gonna go all the way up to zuck we're gonna soul split we're gonna vulnerability zuck we're going to put on split soul hit the special action button we apply a bloat we can throw out a volley that is him done now with this part of the fight what we're going to do is i'm going to invoke death spreads get some souls and then volley out then we can use finger of death on the rest of them and that is our first challenge fast if you do fail it it's not a big deal as long as you don't die or you don't teleport out you will still get the zuck cape with the stone to upgrade your cape we put on protect range So you can see if by standing here, Jad's going to stay there and not move. Which uh, so we will be able to deal with all of these guys running their power points. The bat took it. Let's kill this bat really quickly. this last guy you can throw a bloat on him if you want to now i'll show you a little trick with with jad so what you can do let him do his first attack so magic i'm gonna wait for another one because i wasn't really ready myself then range what you can do if you're low health you can resonance you'll take no damage and any it will heal you all the way back up to full health which is really 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 good to use if you want to conserve your food attack the bat okay so now we're going to stand over on this part of the arena we will attack this bat walk around here with this guy what i like to do is i'm going to threads volley that will take care of him now we've got these ranges these big ranges do hurt quite a lot so if you are taking a lot of damage you see it's actually quite uh i'm quite surprised how well the necro tank armor is doing this is the first time i've used it here we're just gonna kill him so we're fine with that finish him off skulls is skulls are doing the work but yeah, if you are taking too much damage, you can use Devotion or you can use Debilitate, Reflect. Really, really helps against those ranges. Our Hellhound. We'll just heal up our Hellhound. Cast the special ability. Make sure all our buffs are okay. We'll buy some extra weapon poison plus plus plus. So you see with these ranges. So we want to swap over. I'm going to Devotion just because we're going to have quite a few of them attacking us. So we're going to kill him. We're going to Threads. Volley. Soul Sap. Oh, okay. They all died. I could have yet to... <laughs> could have get my souls back, but that's fine. So we're going to quickly finish him off. Then we're going to stand back over here. I'm going to use Reflect just to help mitigate any damage that could potentially kill us. And it's really good. So when we, like, as you can see, these guys are not attacking us. So standing here really, really helps with that. So let's go over. I'm going to just apply a bloat. And same thing, if you are taking too much damage, you just feel free to use Reflect, Debilitate, or Devotion. Okay, that is that one done. That wave done. Strike from afar. 
Now with these ranges here, we will have to use a threshold ability for the bar to come up like that to activate the bar. And same thing here, use your defenses if you need to, if you're taking too much damage. We apply a bloat. And this is, yeah, so perfect example right now. See how they're nice and stacked up like that. We can deal with this guy without getting attacked by everything else. So we're going to walk around, click on him, apply a bloat. Let Revo do its, do its thing with our abilities. Okay, he's dead. We're going to go up here. We're going to split soul. Honorability bomb. And apply a bloat. And same thing again. Just letting Revo do what it needs to do. If you do not kill him in time, uh, you can just repeat the, the process we just did before. Stand back over there and repeat it. Okay, so this guy, what we're going to do is we're going to invoke death. Wally. We're not going to complete this challenge. So we're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay because we are still going to get our stone to upgrade the cape. So I'm going to go back to this area here because two jads are going to spawn. Let's attack the bat. Walk around. Get rid of the bat. Go into threads. Ollie. That takes care of those guys. So you can see here, we got two jets and they're stuck behind rocks. So that's why as soon as that second challenge is done, you want to come all the way back down here and stand where I am. You can either stand here or here. I'm going to go do our jet. Volley. Well, just go through all your abilities to get him down. And the other Jad will stay stuck over there. That is that one done. We will stand. You want to stand right here between Zuck and Jad because if you click on him to run over towards him, you can become in melee range of him and. Uh, <laughs> Be sent straight back to death's office just because you aren't prepared for it. Attack. Sweet. Now we're going to go back to our safe spot. Fight worm or crawl and die. Make sure all our buffs are okay. I'm going to just overload. Reapply weapon poison. Got some ranges. We'll just get rid of the ranges. Bingo. Kill the bat. We just want to work in increments of clearing the mob so that when we go and attack these big mages, we'll be, we won't have to deal with everything else. I'm praying the wrong thing here. So we swap over to magic. Now our hellhound needs some health. So I'm going to use the scrolls. Like I said in the intro of this video, you can use a Prism of Restoration. Works really well. That will bring the Hellhand straight up to full health. Now with these guys, they apply this here. It applies a burn that will you'll constantly take passive damage from. What to, you can do to clear it, and it obviously stacks, you can see there. So what you do to clear it is freedom. You can see no more, no more uh, bleed on us anymore. You do have to be careful of that because sometimes it can uh, send you straight back to death's office if you're not paying attention to it. Okay, that is that one done. We're going to go back to our hidey hole. See, we got the burn. It's okay when protecting from magic as well. You don't take much damage and obviously it's on cooldown, so we're going to use it again. Kill the ranger slow thing just slow increments take them out one by one 
without pulling the whole uh, the whole whole cave. I'm gonna stand over here. Get the ranger. The major will start attacking us. So now we get rid of you want to prioritize getting the ranger first. We've got our bleed again, so we're gonna freedom. It's just come off cooldown. Run around. Throw a finger. Clear him as quick as you can. We'll wait for freedom to come off cooldown before we bleed our debuff there. Okay, so it's off cooldown. We're going to use it. Go back to the south side of the arena. Got the mages. So what we're going to do here is we're going to step inside of their little shield. Going to apply a bloat. And with this part here, if you are taking too much damage, for example, I'll use a devotion. Really, really helps you. Uh, really, really helps to mitigate the damage. Just use some fingers, some thread, uh, some volleys, stuff like that, just to get him, get him down as quick as possible. Gonna bloat. Okay, now that's done. What we're going to do, vulnerability, suck, split soul, swap over to soul split. Hit the special action button. Now with this part here, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have 100% adrenaline. So what I did, our skulls. We may fail this, I might not have enough adrenaline, but that's okay. It'd be a good example. You can click on this guy straight away. What you want to do is resonance, which I missed. We're going to take damage, which is fine. We're going to fail this challenge. Just want to heal through any of it, which we did. Now, as soon as that is done, you want to go over here. Let the Jads walk to where they're going to get stuck. Eat some food. Okay. Let him hit us once. Do this one. And then now we're going to resonance. It's off cooldown. And we'll be instantly healed back up to full health. Just like that. Works really, really well. Okay, that is the first Jad done. See, so when I clicked on him like that, he was running to me to merely damage. It, it merely ranged. So if I let that happen, he would have uh, merely us. <laughs> but that's something you definitely don't want to do. You want to walk to this area between Zuck and Jad. We got hit by a bomb. I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to resonance. Get a nice heal back. Okay, now time for Harakin. We have split soul on. So we put split soul on. Vulnerability bomb. Invoke death. Volley. Finger. Step away from that bomb because if you hit that, that bomb hits you, it will drain adrenaline. If it does hit you, it's no real big deal though. You just have to recover and you might have to two cycle. Just take your time with, with Harakin. He's a nice chill part of the fight. There's the bomb. We can see it. We step away. We're going to volley again. Finger. There we go. We got it. We're going to be doing a two cycle. That's fine. 
so since you would if you need to t if they end up two cycling just go to the tentacles where there's not many of them so don't stand over this area where there's three of them go over here attack this one and then just keep your your soul split on better watch out for those bombs you'll get that text message pretty much if those bombs happen just surge away to another part of the arena so if the bombs if i got that message with the bombs what i would do i'll just come over here surge or dive and then the bombs will completely miss us just wait for Harakin to pop back up make sure our hellhounds are okay so we've got the bomb so what we're going to do is we're going to walk the opposite way make sure we don't get hit by those bombs Harakin has popped back up I'm going to surge dive over to him quickly I'm going to volley Okay, that is him done. Now what you can do is come over to Zuck. Make sure all your stat boosting stuff is on. Apply darkness again. And just attack Zuck. So what we're going to do, we're going to protect Melee. He's going to come over. The first hit he's going to do is that. So we're going to have to use freedom to clear the bleed that he applies. We're going to volley. He's going to attack us when we get this message right there. What you want to do is you want to surge and run back. Finger. Surge. So when he slams the sword down, as soon as he slams the sword down, you want to surge and then just click on Zuck and you'll be out of range. Now he's going to do his other one. Special attack. We're just going to resonance. Continue with the fight. So now we're going to get the pizza phase. So we click on Zuck. We surge. I was a little bit late there, but that's fine. We're going to stun. Have soul split on. Kill him. Gonna run over. Finger. Float. Click on Zuck again. Surge. Into the uh, barricade of the major. What I'd like to do, I'll sh when so right now i like to click on zuck so i'll apply a vulnerability bomb invoke death all of those sorts of things if you haven't already hit the special action button and then do the whole thing over again so we've got one attack two attack three attack then we get that one so we've got to clear this bleed with a freedom one attack two attack Free attack now we're going to get ready for the surge so we're going to surge and then we're going to click back over to where we're standing one attack two attack surge click we're going to get hit with the bleed two auto attacks then you want to use resonance which I missed anyway. This is a really good example. Just do all your all your damaging abilities. We can throw out a finger. Anticipate if you want to before he drags you like that and you will be out you'll be free. We're going to surge over, surge dive. We're going to stun. Finger. If you do happen to get caught in the flames, what you can do is pray merely and devotion. Oh, sorry, not merely. You can pray magic and devotion, and you won't take any damage from the from the pizza. Or the flames, rather. And I think this is all changed. It never used to spawn instantly like that because there was a issue there for a while where the 
flames wouldn't spawn. So I think this is their little hotfix that they've done. So same thing again, make sure we vulnerability suck. Protect nearly. And we repeat the process. Throw out a finger. Get prepared to clear the bleed, which means freedom. Then we walk back 10 tiles. Just gonna sh and <laughs> we didn't get the rest of the mechanics. And then that is Zuck. That is Zuck done. We'll go check the chest. All I need is, is the pet for log. <laughs> we didn't get no pet, but we got the igneous stone. So like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you fail the challenges as long as you don't die or teleport uh you will still get the the stone to upgrade to the zuck cape so i really hope this video helps you guys um this is the first video i've ever done i was quite nervous about it <laughs> but hopefully it helps some of you out there it's just a straight rule guide so thank you so much for watching and uh see you in the next one adios amigos